Alright, hey, hey, it's Mega here, and it's been a few weeks since I shot the last video when we took the uh, the height measurements of the, for the wheel gap on the Toyota RAV4 Prime, alright? So, like I mentioned, in the last video, we had just installed the springs, but I hadn't let it settle. Now it's been a few weeks, and I've got gotten to drive the car a few, like, oh, like I've, I've gotten to drive the car, like, a few hundred miles, alright? So, there, the springs have definitely settled, okay? So... And I've I've been able I've I've been doing package delivery and I've been putting a lot of heavy loads in the back of the vehicle sometimes and uh, and yeah so the, definitely the springs have settled now so now would be a good time to check the um, the wheel gap all right so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna so we're going to uh, check the wheel gap um, unloaded all right right just like just like last time the vehicle is unloaded and then we're gonna load it up with my uh, supermoto in the back. All right, on the on the carrier, then we'll check the height. All right, I, my goal is to get um, it level when there's a heavy load in the back. Okay, um, and if you want to know how it rides, all right, it's re the back is really harsh. All right, when you go off of speed bumps, um, you can feel it. it. It like crashes really hard. Boom! There'll be a loud, a, a big thunk. Okay, um, it depends on the speed bump though. All right, that's the only thing I notice. Other than that, um, it's you know, it drives pretty much like it did before. I do notice it has more oversteer than before, all right? So now, um, with the sway bar installed, I, I noticed it was, I, I noted that it was a more neutral handling, all right? But now it's like more oversteer handling. I can feel the back slipping out a little bit more, all right? That very well may be because I didn't get a wheel alignment, all right? I haven't got a wheel alignment yet. I don't think I'm gonna get one, all right? Hopefully, hopefully it'll be okay. <laughs> All right, but uh, but yeah, hopefully the alignment didn't change at all. Um, only one way to find out though is to take it to an alignment shop. All right, uh, but anyway, we're gonna go check the gap again, and then uh, we'll see what it is after it's settled. All right. All right, and I have the results from last time uh, written down on the on the box, the iBox box. <laughs> so so we'll just make a we'll just put more notes on that. All right. Okay, here we go with the first measurement. This is the uh, right rear okay and I've got five fingers right there and it looks like eight fingers all right yep eight eight fingers <laughs> got eight fingers in the rear double check that's that's eight fingers uh you know what that might be a little bit more than eight fingers but let's call that eight fingers <laughs> okay and then same as before we're gonna um we're gonna put this on here until it's flush, flat with the tread. Okay, and then we're gonna measure from the uh, from right here, right? The little my little splash guard here. We got five. Let's call that five and three quarters. <laughs> yeah, five and three quarters inches. Okay. Okay, this is the front right. All right, we're gonna go from the center here. And it looks like we're it's like almost seven, almost. I'll just call that seven, seven. It's like six and a half almost. <laughs> now that's seven. Yeah. Okay, so we're seven fingers in the front. I think that's what it was before. So it might. Uh, it's, uh, it's a little less than seven fingers, so we'll call that seven fingers. All right. All right we're gonna put our uh, thingy here. Four, four and a quarter. Four, four and a quarter. All right. Seven fingers. Four. And okay. A Rear left. Rear left. All right.
Okay, so now that we've got the measurements, after uh, after it's settled, uh, we're gonna go put my rear my Moto Jack rack on there, and I'm gonna put my Alter Redshift on there. All right, so that's about so my, the the um, the Moto Jack rack is about 50 pounds. It's more like 60. All right, and then my Alter Redshift is 280 pounds. So we're gonna put about 300. We're gonna hang. I'm not gonna. We're gonna hang 350 pounds off the hitch. All right, so that's a lot of weight. Okay, and and I do that, you know. Normally, it's <laughs> alright. Okay, there you have it. I've got the Alta Red Ship on the back of the RAV4, and so there's roughly 350 pounds on the back of this vehicle. <laughs> Alright, so one thing I noticed is it's harder to get the bike on the carrier now because it's not as low anymore. It's two inches taller on the back, guys. <laughs> so, so yeah, it, it makes a difference when loading. And so you gotta decide, like, do you want it to have more height in the, the proper height in the back when loaded, or do you want it to, to have saggy butt? All right, <laughs> I really want the saggy butt. Anyway, it's on there. It's it's mounted pretty much pretty close. I just have to add the straps and stuff, and it's ready to go. But yeah, it it's fully it's it's loaded onto the back now. Okay, so we're gonna go check the weight again. Right. Now this is like kind of minus all the stuff I go to the track with on the back. All right, all my gear and all that stuff. So when I when I go to the track, I have significantly more amount of stuff inside the vehicle okay but this is just outside right so it's it's not loaded but the bike's on the back now okay so let's go take another measurement okay, there's a closer look at the setup right there all right it's a moto jack rack with my super moto on the back it's up there guys <laughs> Okay, I didn't I didn't put the hitch pin in, but uh, it's fine. Well, we're just I'm just gonna put it on there too. We're not gonna drive. Around. <laughs> okay. 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 Here we go. This is the uh, right rear, and I've got seven fingers. That's def that's seven fingers, definitely. Okay. Yep, seven fingers. Okay, I'm gonna call that four and three quarters. All right, four and three quarters. So seven fingers and four and three quarters. Pretty much the same as the front. Okay, front uh, front right from the center line. Oh, oh, oh! I, I didn't put my thumb in there, <laughs> dude. I'm gonna say that's seven fingers. It's just maybe a little bit more than seven fingers, just a little bit, just a little bit. But I will call that seven fingers again. It, did, it does look like it's lifted a little bit in the rear, in the front, because of the weight. Okay, and I'm gonna move this. It's just a hair over four and three quarters. Just a hair. It's a little bit. I'm gonna call that four and five. It's a little more than four and three quarters. We'll call that four and 4.77. All right. Okay.
Okay guys, on the back of my uh, iBock box here, I've, I've uh, written the results down, all right? If you remember from the first time, right? So before we, uh, before we started this uh, lifting project, we took the measurements, all right? And we got seven fingers in the front, and that's a 4.5 inches. Oh, that's kind of weird. Yeah, it should be more like, I got four and a quarter. Hmm, that's odd. Yeah, anyway, so we got seven fingers in the front, seven fingers in the, uh, yeah, seven fingers in the front, and then about five fingers in the rear, all right? 5.5 .5 on the rear left. So remember, my my road is a little bit crowned a little bit. So one side's going to be a little lower, and one side will be a little higher, okay? Um, it was uh, 4.5 on the front left and 4.55 on the front right and then 4 inches on the rear left and then 3.875 inches on the rear okay so yeah it's not the most accurate measurements guys <laughs> alright so um, after what we noted was the front was about seven fingers alright it was a four and a quarter alright but the rear is eight uh, on the rear left, rear right, rear right, we got eight fingers at five and a quarter. And then in the rear, we got uh, 8.5 fingers at six inches. Okay. So here's the one with the, with it loaded. All right. With a suit, I put supermoto here and I drew a little supermoto on the back from the top. All right, guys. Um, the front was about, is about seven fingers. All right. And I don't know, I measured it again and I came up with four and three quarters. So it's four and three quarters on the front. It's still higher. It, yeah, that's weird. It's still higher. Than, it, it, yeah, it's actually higher. Um, so, uh, and then, um, so in the rear, we've got a little more than seven fingers and then seven fingers. All right. And here I got five inches and four and a quarter inches. Okay. So it's a quarter inch difference from the, on the rears because of like you know the weight distribution and all that all right so so what have we gathered uh so you're, you're going about from about four with the lifting springs you're going from about four inches to six inches almost all right almost pretty much two inch lift all right you're going to get a two inch lift with these eye box springs if you don't install the front springs okay um and that gives it that, that kind of raked look, all right? Now it looks kind of like normal, guys. <laughs> yeah, it looks normal. It looks level, That's, which is what I was going for, all right? Um, so also, when it's loaded, uh, what we found out is that the back squats. It squats, the back gets lower, and the front gets higher. Uh, and that, that you can see that here. We got four and, four and three quarters versus a four and a quarter, okay? Yeah, my fingers are not very accurate, guys. <laughs> say, is that what you're telling me, 80s Vegas? All right, and then so it looks like it, it drops about an inch. Yeah, this is about five inches, and this is about six inches here. You're going to lose about an inch when you have it loaded, all right? It's probably going to be more than that when I put more stuff in there. But, um, and, and so it evens it out, actually. So... It's roughly seven fingers all the way around, all right? So it's perfect. That's exactly what I was going for, guys, all right? I wanted it to be a little bit taller on the back. We got the eight fingers in the back, right? And then the seven fingers in the front. When it's not loaded, it's a little taller in the back, all right? That's what I was going for. I wanted it raked. And then the uh, when it's loaded, all right? That's like 300 something pounds hanging off the rear of the, the vehicle. It's level. All right, so that should give me more, uh, uh, was it departure angle is what I'm going to say. So I won't be rubbing on stuff all the time. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Okay. And then so what, another thing we found out is that um, it's the rear is a little more harsher. It's a, okay. It's a lot more harsher when going over speed bumps. Other than that, I don't really notice the difference. I feel that it, it oversteers more. So in a way it, it kind of handles better. In my opinion um, I have to do less steering inputs to get to the point where I want it to point because right? it has more oversteer so you get a little more oversteer when you're not loaded all right um, and it's a little harsher going the rear is more harsh going over speed bumps okay and I haven't really driven it with the load on it yet so okay but, uh, maybe I might make a separate video giving you my thoughts on how it drives with the weight in the back all right uh, one thing we didn't do is uh, have the trailer on but 
uh, when I get a chance to when I get a chance to load the um, the Rav4 up with the trailer and everything, I'll shoot a quick video and I'll show you how, how much the gaps are real quick. All right, with my fingers. All right. <laughs> All right, but well, what we found out is Hades and Vegas fingers are not uh, super accurate. All right, but, but yeah, so you're gonna gain two inches with this lifting with, with the way Hades and Vegas lifted the vehicle. All right, and then you're going to lose an inch and kind of raise the front a little bit when it's loaded. Okay, so that's it, it does this kind of thing right when it when you load it. So so it's pretty much level. So um, so if you're this is this would be a good mod if you are a person that uh, regularly drives with a lot of weight in the car or maybe like a lot of passengers and stuff in the back. Okay, uh, what, uh, this is better if you fully load your Rav4. Right, if you're driving your Rav4 around with nothing in it all the time, then I I don't really recommend this. Okay, <laughs> all right, but yeah, if you're towing heavy loads or carrying heavy loads all the time, this is uh, this is actually more beneficial. Okay. Um, you, you get have, you'll have a less squatty RAV4 and it'll drive better, handle better. One thing I did notice is when the vehicle is loaded, all right, I, like I said, I did package delivery with the vehicle. Um, With the, with the vehicle lifted, all right? And I, I did note that when I had a lot of weight in the back, right, when the back, the car was fully loaded and I go over to speed bumps, it's not harsh anymore. So the, what the problem is, is that the spring is top, um, the shock absorber is topped out, all right? So you top out very easily and then it, it, be, it, it becomes very harsh when it tops out, okay? So um, the, the spring, uh, the spring is at the top, uh, the, I mean, the shock absorber is at the top of its stroke, all right? And, so, and that's what, that's what, uh, happens it tops out the it um it tops out too fast all right you know how there's bottom out and there's top out well it tops out right because you're 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 top you move the spring height all right i mean you move the suspension but you didn't move the shock absorber all right the shock absorber is still kind of in the same place all right and it's just floating around on its stroke right but but you're on the t upper part of the stroke now all right but when your vehicle is fully loaded you're more in the middle of the stroke and the vehicle will handle and drive better all right so all right there you go well, there you go guys so uh, that that so ends Hades Vegas uh, rear lifting project for the RAV4 Prime all right um, and if you just want to lift your front um, you're gonna have to watch another video sorry guys I just all I did was lift the rear now was is was there any other options that I could have chosen the other option was I could have installed airbags in the back, all right? I, I believe they have an airbag kit where you put it inside the spring, and then, um, and then like when uh, um, when you're carrying heavy loads, you can inflate the, the the airbag, and it'll give you give your springs more support. There's another that's another thing we could have done, um, and that probably would have been that probably would have been cheaper i think by a little bit not by much okay i think the, the airbag kit is more a little more than 100 bucks all right um and um it it would be less permanent all right because you can adjust how how strong the um, spring or the support is by putting air in the airbag okay you can adjust the ride height by putting air in the airbag all right so if you're going to be towing heavy loads just pump it up full of air and then, um, and then you know, and then when you're not having any loads, you can, you know, deflate it. All right, and then it, it'll think. All right, so so that's the other option. Uh, the other option would be to get some another an alternate kind of lifting kit. I don't know what other lifting kits there are for the, the Rav4. Um, they have this those ones with the spacers and stuff. All right, that's what I was hoping I could do. Just get a spacer to compress the spring a little bit more. Uh, but I can't find one just for the rear, <laughs> okay? But if you call Eibach and you order two rear springs, you can you can just have the rear lifted, all right? You can have, basically I'm putting heavy duty springs in the back, all right? And what it does is it lifts the vehicle two inches more. It makes it a little more harsh in the back when it's not loaded, all right? It's just like a pickup truck now, okay? <laughs> all right, so thanks for watching. Here's the big out.